We could see the sets wobble during these moments. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 hilariously low budget Doctor Who moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be going over the moments when Doctor Who's low budget led to unintended humor or just had us cringing. My own form is endless, but this frog is a form that delights me as it once delighted Grace. Because some of these moments are unfortunately tied to the plot points, there will be some spoilers ahead. You've been warned. Number 10, The Win. The Ark in Space. We offer you safe passage from the Ark. Surrender now and your lives will be spared. The Ark in Space is a much beloved classic Doctor Who story. However, if it had one weak link, it's probably its villain, the Wyrn. A parasitic insect species, the Wyrn's mature form is a large upright insect and the prop used in the show is a bit hard to take seriously with its many floppy legs. Arguably funnier though is when the Wyrn infects human crew member Noah. God, what we have given you with all your strength. Noah's gradual conversion is achieved by having him slowly become more and more covered in a green substance. That is pretty obviously green bubble wrap. Granted, bubble wrap wasn't as commonly known back then, and it looks pretty good considering. Number nine, the Lazarus monster. The Lazarus experiment. The Tenth Doctor and Martha Jones take an interest when Professor Richard Lazarus claims he has invented a way to return a body's youth. When Lazarus uses his machine on himself, the results appear promising at first. But an unfortunate side effect is that he also turns into a monster that must kill to retain his youth. Even more unfortunate is the effect used to create the monster. Even the best CGI from the mid-2000s when this aired looks dated now, and Doctor Who couldn't afford the best. Lazarus wanted to live forever, but we don't think he wanted his legacy to be this terrible effect. <laughs> Number 8. Dinosaurs Invade London Invasion of the Dinosaurs When the third Doctor and Sarah Jane Smith return to 1970s or 80s London, the pair are surprised to find out the city has been overrun by dinosaurs. However, their shock pales compared to the audience's surprise at just how badly animated the stop-motion model dinosaurs are. Their rubbery skin is unconvincing and they're all wired to the model sets by one foot so they can only pivot and not walk. Granted, not everyone had the late great Ray Harryhausen skill with bringing dinosaurs to life before CGI, but this is just embarrassing, distracting from an otherwise solid story. Number seven, Spaceship Crash, Earthshock. A plot by the Cybermen to disrupt a peace conference on Earth in the future inadvertently leads to a cargo ship on a collision course with prehistoric Earth. With time running out, the Fifth Doctor's young friend Adric stays behind to try to avert the crash, which he is ultimately unsuccessful at, leaving the Doctor and company devastated. <laughs> Although the DVD version shows the collision in great detail and with a satisfying CGI explosion, the original sequence as broadcast was not nearly as harrowing. Instead of a crash, we're shown a static image of the ship exploding intercut with a picture of a map. It somewhat undercuts the drama of the scene when you wonder how the ship crashed if it wasn't moving. Number six, The Swampies. 
the power of crawl. There's a lot of low budget elements to the power of crawl. For instance, the monster crawl itself. How about that split screen horizon? <laughs> However, we'd argue that those who worship crawl come off as even more absurd. The Swampies are a group of displaced alien humanoids who are intended to serve as an allegory for conquered native peoples. However, this message is undermined by the fact that their appearances are so silly. While we'll allow that green body paint and awful wigs are more than Doctor Who usually does to make human-like aliens seem, well, alien, this doesn't make it any easier to hold in our laughter whenever they're on screen. You, Dryfoot, have aroused the wrath of the Great One by denying him his promised he's victim. He's not the Great One, he's the insignificant one. Number five, the creature from the pit. The creature from the pit? This classic serial sees the fourth Doctor trapped in a pit with a large blob creature, which actually turns out to be an alien ambassador, Erato. I most emphatically do not eat people. The creature's design is laughably terrible, resembling some combination of a green bin bag, bogeys, and something a Dalek might excrete. While its general appearance is bad enough, there's the small, or not so small, matter of the creature's appendage. <laughs> to put it delicately, Erito's tentacle looks extremely phallic. It's hard to find Erito menacing before his true nature is revealed, with that big thing wobbling about. The Doctor doesn't make it any easier to keep a straight face when he does things like blow into it. Number four, the pantomime Mirka, Warriors of the Deep. When the fifth Doctor arrives at an underwater base, it's attacked by prehistoric reptile races, the Silurians and Sea Devils, trying to reclaim Earth. Although production on this serial was infamously rushed, with only a few takes allowed for each scene, the most visual example of this is the Mirka creature, unleashed by the Silurians. The monster is not only a shambling pantomime construction, but it had also been completed only a few hours before shooting, leaving its operators inhaling fumes and its paint coming off on set. And that human crew woman doing an ineffectual karate kick at it? Ah! This might have ranked higher if not for the fact it caused BBC controller Michael Grade to cancel Doctor Who. That is not funny at all. <laughs> Number three, Unit's Tank, Robot. The newly regenerated fourth Doctor is asked by Unit for help in combating a robot that has begun running amok. Although the robot itself can be unintentionally funny, particularly its low-budget gigantification effect, what unit uses to fight back against it is even more pathetic. And I brought along something that will deal with it. I very much doubt it, Brigadier. While the Brigadier bringing out the big guns might sound like a good idea, to him at least, you'd think an organization funded by the UN would be able to afford a real tank and not what is clearly a toy in the foreground, with sound effects added to make it sound like a real one. Should have applied for a bigger budget, Brig. Number two, the burping bin, Rose. When Rose Tyler encounters living plastic dummies and the Ninth Doctor, she goes investigating and looks to a conspiracy theorist for information on the latter. Her boyfriend, Mickey Smith, waits in the car at first, but is lured by a strange bin which seems to be moving on its own. After opening it up, Mickey discovers his hands are now stuck and is swallowed by the plastic trash receptacle. 
The whole sequence is another example of shoddy CGI from the mid-2000s, and the bin bipping is the cherry on top of this cringeworthy moment. <laughs> Before we get to our top pick, here's some honourable mentions. Number 1. The Mara Snake. Kinda. How will you deal with the Mara? I don't know yet. When the fifth Doctor and his companions visit the planet Deva Loka, they discover that an extra-dimensional force known as the Mara is menacing both the planet's inhabitants as well as a visiting expedition. While it's a tremendously metaphysical and dreamlike story, the production is let down by the climactic moment when the Mara is manifested as its true form, a snake. Hold your ground! The snake prop doesn't look real in the slightest, with its unblinking eyes and mouth hanging open, lending inadvertent comedy to the story's conclusion. <laughs> Fortunately, this was rectified with a much more convincing CGI version on the DVD release, though the bar wasn't exactly high for it to be more realistic. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.